I'm back everyone. You may be wondering how you can make a slideshow on your iPhone. Now luckily for you, there's a few different ways to do this. In this specific video, we'll be using an application called Keynote, which is completely free. It's already probably pre-installed on your iPhone as long as you didn't uninstall it. So you can go and download from the App Store. You can also download applications like Google Slides and different apps like that. I prefer Google Slides, but in this video, we'll be using Keynote. So what you want to do is you want to search for your application Keynote, and all you want to do is go and open it up. Now, if you've ever used any application from Apple, it's pretty much the same layout for the most part. So you'll be presented into this little area. So what you can do here is if you already have a Keynote set up, then you can click here. But in this case, we'll be going through and creating a new project. So what you can do here is you can click the plus button that's right up here, and it'll go and allow you to choose a theme or start an outline. In this case, we'll just choose this theme. It's a little bit easier. And here there are tons of different you know, blueprints we can follow. So in this case, we'll just go and use this first one, which is the basic white one, and it'll go and bring us straight into a little keynote area. Now here, we can go ahead and customize our you know, specific slideshow whichever way we want to. So in this case, I'll just go through the basics. You can go and click here, and you can go ahead and actually change up by double tapping and add a specific title. So if I want to go ahead and just add something called title, so if I want to go ahead and add a title called title like that, you can go and do so. And you can go and customize all these other little options down here too. Now a big thing that you have to remember is the plus button. So right here, we have a little plus button right there. We can click plus. And what it allows us to do is either add in images. We can add, take a photo and add a camera, image gallery, so many other things. But you can also click here, and you can also add shapes. You can click here, and you can add little charts. And you can also click here to add little tables. So that's another thing you can do in this case. And you can also slide through here and choose different things like that. In this case, it would just be like removing it. But let's say this slide is good. Now what we can do is click the plus button down here to add a new slide. And it gives us a great little breakdown of exactly what we can do and just kind of a little layout. So in this case, if we want something else, we can go and click here. And now it gave us another slide. We can also click the plus button. We can add another slide here. We can keep clicking the plus button and keep adding as many slides as possible. And that's really all we have to do. Now we can slide through and choose any other slides here. And you can customize these slides however you want to. Now, if you're done, you can go and you know click on the little three line three dots here. You can share this out, export it. You can print out this keynote. You can also add people to it by clicking on that you know little add button there. But this is one method you have. You also have Google Slides and a bunch of other slides for applications as well. But this is one of the ones you can use. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so done.